On the road again. Um, I'm kind of wiped out today, so I'm not really going that fast, but I'll get there eventually. I often have to remind myself to actually just enjoy getting there rather than anticipate getting there. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. Which should make it easier to live in this Right here is very much like the forest I used to wander in as a kid. On the North Shore, of course, but it's funny how being back in Tahoe reminds me of stuff I'd forgotten. So I think it's all downhill from here, which is good. I normally don't even really notice the hills here, but I do today. <laughs> so I literally just dropped my camera and now we'll see if it works. I am... Um, things that are around me have to be pretty tough and rugged though because um, we got to work out. So if it couldn't survive, you know, that then... I guess it deserves to die, or it deserves to find somebody better. Although, who could be better? Well, apparently yeah. the camera's still know. working. Um, and I'm going downhill, but at a very slow rate. So, I was... Just before I dropped the camera, I was going to say something rather spectacularly brilliant. But I've totally forgotten whatever it was I was going to say. A motorcycle. I used to have one just like that. But it got stolen and they destroyed it, so I never got another one. I took it as kind of a sign from whatever that I shouldn't have a motorcycle because uh, I didn't keep my speed where it should have been. Let's just put it thinking down. of that, um, Madel no, Madeline Kahn performance in Blazing Saddles where she sings that song, I'm Tired, and it's a send-up of Marlena Dietrich, and damn, she was brilliant, you know, it's funny, I, I loved her even before I knew what the word brilliant meant, but she was great, she's dead now, but her performances live on. I don't really know what made me think of that. Oh, I know, because I'm kind of tired myself, and that'd make a pretty good soundtrack for this movie. Lake Tahoe Wildlife Care. I'm pretty wild, but I just want to take care of myself right now. Speaking of forks in the road, um, as that sign indicates, there's a presidential erection coming up, and I'm Obama all the way. Not all the way, because, um, you know, I'm probably a bit more liberal than he is, and whatever. And I also think that his skin color, or his perceived skin color, makes folks more resistant to him. It's really hard to tell if people despise him because of his politics, or his race, but whatever the reason, I think he gets more resistance than he would if he were a white male. Um, but anyway, so whoever wins, there'll be a significant portion of stuff, but I just hope I'm happy. I tend to worry more about my happiness than that of other people, which is the mark of an adolescent, but, um, you know, I'm only 45 at this point, so I think that still qualifies me as something of an adolescent. This scenery is awesome, and being easily distracted also is a mark of adolescence, so, you know, this is a powerful testament, this video, to 
Wait, in the one middle of the hallway, I had to stop and film this because there's a plane up above that's flying dangerously close to the sun. I think when I was little, I used to... Well, I didn't know really exactly what those white streaks were, but when it was explained to me, I thought that they were flying close to the sun. This one's going to miss it, though.